Oh, let's all get up this morning and look to God that's on you soon. The Savior of the entire world. Oh, put your hands together. It is not a human God. It's still not God for good. It means a dream. Open up my eyes so blind that we might find the mercy for the
this entire world let's all go to our bibles and go to psalm 46 what it tells about when there is a trouble in the world and we do live in times men are facing things in these times that they never faced before but you got to take courage and strengthen the lord it says in verse 2 though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea though its waters roar and be troubled though the mountains shake with its swelling there is a river whose streams shall make glad the city of god the holy tabernacle of the most high god is in the midst of her she shall not be moved god will help her just at the break of dawn that's what the church is that's what we gathered here to offer god as a solution to the people of the world that is why you bring those who are lost dying those who are sick and hurting and bring them along with you to the house of god for your god our god jesus christ is a refuge and strength and a very present help in trouble therefore we need not fear they need not fear the world need not fear for his plans alone will be fulfilled all they need is to have strength and trust and surrender their life unto jesus christ Never let's read the Psalm 46 from verse 1 to the end of the chapter. All together from verse 1. As loud as he can say, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, and though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling shiller. There is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. The nations raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Shall her come? Behold the works of the Lord. Who has made desolations in the earth he makes wars cease to the end of the earth he breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two he burns the chariot in the fire be still and know that i am god i'll be exalted among the nations i'll be exalted in the earth the lord of hosts is with us the god of jacob is a refuge Shella, hallelujah we're gonna do what this series of psalms tells us to do if you go to psalm 48 two psalms after 46 it says the first three verses what you got to do to make god a refuge and strength it says in psalm 48 from verse 1 to verse 3 great is the lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our god that is the church of jesus christ in his holy mountain which is here when we praise god and we are exalted and lifted up along with god beautiful in elevation the joy of the whole earth is mount zion on the strides of the north the city of the great king god is in a palace and he is known as a refuge since he's a great god and greatly to be praised oh let us praise him and thank him and let us exalt him for his love is more than enough for us for this world for all of humanity mankind oh exalt him jesus
from verse 1 to verse 3 join along and declare this this morning from verse 1 great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God in his holy mountain beautiful in elevation the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion on the sides of the north the city of the great king for God is a, in her palaces he is known as a refuge therefore have no fear this morning just praise him he's your refuge he will take care of each and every one of you oh let's all join together this morning and put our hands together and to jesus
ourselves into a God this morning. I turn and say,
hope which was lost and now stands ringing. I gave my life to honor this. The slain on your behalf who carried the sins of the world upon himself the final complete sacrifice there were the angels in all of heaven that all join together and exalt him
few seconds what are you kneel down and bow down before your king those of you can others can be seated who enjoys his presence meditate on his greatness
Oh, in this time of inspiration, let your faith and prayer open up the heavens. If you're found in one foundation, standing on Jesus Christ, can you to believe in Him with all your being? Oh, you can stand up if you want at this time and strengthen yourself in the Lord.
with this great faith. That you have in your great God. You'll be able to move mountains out of the way. And we will see miracles, signs and wonders. Increase in our midst. In your life in the church. Oh yes, this word is true. Therefore this morning. Oh believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And live for him completely.
will take place only through the power of the Holy Spirit and only through the leading and the guidance through His intercession in your life. Every blockage will be removed. A way will be made. The door will be opened. For you to be a mighty witness, which each and every one of you need to be. Or to speak truth to all of mankind, not just for a few people. But each and every one here, from the front to the back, left to the right, young and old, male and female, who you might be, you need to share the love of Christ. You need to share the gospel and the truth. And for that, you need the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh, therefore, this morning, open your mouth. Come on. Oh, keep praying the Holy Ghost. But cry out to him, say, Lord, I don't want to come to your church alone again. I want to bring someone from the lost, oh, from the world, those who are lost, those who are dying, those who are perishing. Oh, lead me to them. Let them lead me to you. Oh, yes, we need to rise up as a church and shine the light. And the voice needs to be gone. Oh, to God and all the world. The voice needs to be heard in all the arts about our Savior. Yes, it's true. And I believe it. Yes, it's true. And I believe it. Yes, it's true.
that he had that he gave for you remember the work on the cross remember his death for he died that you might live he carried every sickness and disease upon himself so that you would Live a life of perfect health. You were struck down. So you'd be able to stand up. He was rejected so that you'd be accepted. And all that stands true this morning. Oh, come unto him. Pick up your cross. Let that flesh and the carnal nature be crucified. No longer living for yourself, but living for the Lord. Saying, no longer I, but it is Christ who lives in me.
is by his mercy and grace, by his power and love, that we are able to stand in his presence in his house. And your names are written in the Lamb's book of life. And you live for him in this world and you live forever for all of eternity and victory is not just for the life in eternity but Jesus has won and given you the victory for this life that is why you come to the house of God to take part the Lord Jesus Christ receive his resurrecting power and life at every service and as you take part all your needs would be met he will give you health and strength he will give you victory in every area of your life Therefore, this morning, get ready to take part on the table of the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, to receive from Him that which you need to live a supernatural life, that you'll not be like the others in the world, but completely different, a new creation, receiving us. Zoe abundant life. That's what his word says in John chapter 6, verse 35 onwards. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger. He who believes in me shall never thirst. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. The bread that I shall give is my flesh, which I shall give for the life of the world. Most assuredly, I say to you, unless eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Who eats my flesh and drinks my blood is eternal life. And I'll raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father. So he who feeds on me will live because of me. Each and every one of you committed your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and you love him with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Come forth this morning unto the Lord Jesus Christ and take part in him.